Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. He's now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. making that final walk that separates man and warrior soon to be in battle there in the ring. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. And they are underway. Round number one of this much-anticipated scheduled eight-round bout. Up top with the right hand. Right to the body. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. A stabbing right hand comes in by Iron. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there, right at the beginning, because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Nothing there on the punch by Iron. Halfway through this round here. Scores up top with a left. Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have varied punches throughout. Exactly, and what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to be predictable. of round number one. You need to take it to this guy. Make it a dog fight with him, man. Close the gap and let your hands go. Please. You need to throw more punches. The body. Bang the body. Hit the body. Jab is working real good. That's right. You keep using the jab. You gotta keep the jab moving to push him off you, all right? Good job. Listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots, you understand me? Now let's see. Here we go. Round two is underway. A good block. Gets rid of that effort. Side to side, move your head. <laughs> mm. 
Not an accurate hook at all. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Able to land with the right. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Blocked by iron. Solid uppercut. Ten seconds to go in this round. Iron's doing something that I often question, and that's a fighter going out there as that round comes to an end. Once again, just being able to say, he didn't put forth enough effort. Why? Because it's a mental game, Joe, and it's about confidence. And right now, he does not have the confidence oh, to go great. forth and do those things. Even though you and me are looking and we see the opportunities there, he doesn't see them. He doesn't feel them. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Good job protecting himself. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Now he ties up there. Missed the body shot. Oh, you got this one, baby. You got this one all day, all day. Targeting that hook upstairs by Iron. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. He's tired. He's tired. No, he missed that right. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Iron. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Last 10 seconds of round number three. A nice block by Iron. You're letting this guy get away. Come on, this is it. You've got to make it a fight now. You can't just move around. You've got to move your hands. Right, let's go. You have to start throwing in volume in there. Throw in. Cut his movement off. Keep counterattacking him, okay? When he throws, make him miss and count. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that counter hook. Now, make him... Irons up a round here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves in any great amount so far. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Irons. Cut. 
halfway through round number four. Iron's defense clearly carrying things right now for him, but what else should he be conscious of beyond just this good punch, footwork we're seeing? Punch. Well, the old times would say, hey, you're doing the hard part, you're making a miss. Do the fun part. Make sure he pays. Come on, keep moving. Engages in the clinch. A well-targeted jab that time. Get in there. Get that focus. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout. And Teddy, if it stays that way throughout this night, then this is going to be an all-time classic. This is the time. We need to out. Don't stop. Don't stop. you got to keep working. You go. You can get ahead. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. Unable to connect by Iron. Good flush shot upstairs. And a big right hand by... What a right hand, and he goes down from it. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Missed the target with that hook. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Good smooth work by Iron. That's classic counter punches. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Solid counter punch by Iron. And just grabbing on to his opponent. the headshot but he parries it away final 10 seconds of this fifth round so he scores a knockdown in the last round now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. do you go after it do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something even bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Move out there and move, move, move. Breathe. Breathe now. Come on. You good? I got more. Irons heading out there for this round, hoping that his legs are under him the way they need to be. He was dropped the last round. Well, he's going to find out. See, that's a good thing you just said, hoping. Well, he can't hope his legs are under him. He's got to find that out because if he goes out there and tries to use them and they're not, he's going to fall all over the place, and the referee's going to stop, and his opponent's going to jump on him. So while the referee's counting, what he's got to do is 
test them out a little bit. So now you know how to go about surviving the round. Do you just stay on the ropes and move your head, or do you use your bicycle? He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you gotta shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you gotta go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. Halfway through round six. Nice. He missed with that headshot. Good looking counter punch. Keep working the jab. Good, and he good. just holds on there. Jump on him. Nice. Oh, what a whiff by Iron. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. What are you doing? Wait! What the hell are you waiting on this guy for? Keep. More than one punch now. Got it? More than one punch. Look at me. You're doing well, but I need to see the combinations. I need to see the strengths. Let's hurt this guy. He can't take a punch. Yeah. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Able to land the jab. Good job staying away from the danger there. This is brilliant defense we're seeing here every which way. Blocking punches, moving well, parrying punches away. He's doing a great job. Now he has to connect the offense a little bit better. There you go. You're still not moving enough. Come on now, move, move. Irons jammed by an uppercut. That's okay, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Halfway through the seventh round. Back to the body. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. One, two, one, two. Good, solid right hand he lands there. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. And a flush hook. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, he's hurt. He was hurt right there, but now he's grabbing on like it's a life preserver. And he's going to have to stay there if he's going to get through these rapids. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead, think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. Got it. Got it. He's almost done. You, you had him that round. You, you're in control. Next round, let's keep busy, all right? This is it. This is all we got. One more round. Give it all you got now, okay? Round eight is underway. This may sound crazy, Teddy, as we look at your scorecards. Iron's trailing 
but really has a legitimate chance in this fight. The opponent hasn't been throwing a ton of punches. No, he's been leaving that door open. It's just up to him now to walk through that door. Watch right hand to the head. That was not well targeted by Iron. Head and body, head and body. Finish with a hook. Come on, punch, punch. Just a minute and a half left in the fight. Iron's got to be asking himself, at least his corner's got to be asking, can this go on like this? Can we continue to work at this work rate, throwing this many punches, and be this ineffective? Nice so work, if he was nice a painter, work. he definitely wouldn't be Rembrandt because, you know, they're not clean strokes. They're not strokes that, you know, you look at them and they're paying off for them. I mean, he's more like doing finger paints. I mean, he's just throwing stuff at that canvas, and it's not looking real pretty right now. A little head hunting with the right. He just missed that shot up top. Oh, you're doing great. Last 10 seconds of the fight. Unable to make an impact there by Iron. That was a dominating performance tonight. Yeah, this is one you would think there's no drama in the reading of the scorecards. Let's hear those scorecards and send it up to the ring. Seemed like he was destined to win throughout the fight. Teddy, your scorecard showed that, and the judges agree, unanimous decision. Yeah, he was destined to win because he kept using that jab all night long and outworking his opponent. It was a good one indeed, and for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.